Hello, um, today we're doing a movie, well, TV series review on The Batman. I have every single season, but season three, sadly, because I did own all of them, but then season three I accidentally got scratched up really bad. I used to not take very good care of my movies, and then now I do. Now I take very good care of them, like, beyond good care. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so sadly I need to buy season three again. I haven't had it for a while, I need to buy it again. This series is pretty good. Um, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, year one of Batman, kind of. Like, Batman hasn't been around, around for too long. Or was it kind of year two, actually, when it starts out? I remember the first thing it was like a saying, oh, it's been like one year since you've been Batman. Yay. So, I don't know. It's a weird thing. But yeah, it's a pretty good series. Um, and sees, I can't say too much about it, but it's a five season long series, but what do we call it? Um, well, in this series, it kind of starts out with him being young. He's like 20s, I think, or yeah, he's pretty young in this. But it's pretty cool, though. Oh, I just said though twice. <laughs> but yeah, it's really awesome. The first season, um, it kind of ends, it has like all the, it has like every single villain in this show, like all the big guys about. But the only big characters they were, didn't have in this show was Scarecrow. They did not have Scarecrow. They did not have Two-Face. I think the only big guys they didn't have. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but I think that's it. They had like Killer Croc, Clayface, Bane. Bane was kind of cool. Most of the people in the show are kind of different. Like Bane, he was all red and kind of cool looking. Because like the Venom kind of made him all red kind of. It was kind of cool though. Killer Croc looked kind of the same. No, Killer Croc. But he was cool though. I like Killer Croc in that show. Joker, he was pretty, like, a more crazy looking. Uh, like, lo really long hair and a crazy jacket thing, we call him. Straight jacket. Pretty cool looking. Crazy looking eyes. Yellow eyes. So that was pretty cool. Um, they had some new characters to the show. Catwoman was okay in the show. But it was a pretty good show, though. Um, season one, not much happened. Uh, it was just him being Batman, you know, fighting villains, um, police stuff. And it didn't continue, like, keep on continuing, like a continuing story. It kind of does, like, it mentions some things, but it's not like a super, like, it leads something up to the end. Well, season four and five do, kind of. I think more five does. But the other ones don't really. It has some stuff lead up, like, people figuring out who he is, like him becoming the Batman and stuff. That continues, but not too much, and him becoming friends with people. Like, in the series, um... He finally becomes friends with this one detective that didn't really like him, and now does. And in season two, they start working together. So in season one and two, it's just by himself. Season three, which I'm missing, sadly, um, Batgirl came, and Poison Ivy and stuff. It's pretty cool. But Batgirl came. That was pretty cool. She's really young. She's like a... Well, not really young. She's like 16, I think. And she wears kind of like homemade costume, which is, isn't that good. But it can make sense, though, because it's homemade. It looks like pajamas, almost. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. But it's cool, though. Um... The fourth season, this one, um, it's pretty good. I don't think I cried, but I thought I was pretty sad because it's where Robin, Robin's in it. I was so happy Robin was in it. And it was kind of sad because it shows the whole, like, the death of his parents and stuff. I thought it was kind of a sad episode. But it's really, really good. And through the series, four and five, I think it was, they both kind of have some hints to Nightwing, like, one time he's playing a game, he had a character, it was Nightwing, he was wearing the old costume even. It was kind of cool, so his virtual character was Nightwing. And then Robin, it showed like the, there was one episode that I absolutely loved, I think it was the fourth season, I'm pretty sure it's the fourth season. It was just like the future, and Batman was all old, and like, not super old, but like, he was all like, kind of buff, he was like kind of big, like Batman, like the Batman Dark Knight Returns, um, in that movie, he was, you know, he was big like that. But his old still is awesome. Um, he even had a tank, even. I think it's what's supposed to be Batman Returns, kind of. Well, Dark Knight Returns. But yeah. Um, because he had a tank, even, and stuff. They were fighting, like, a future-looking Mr. Freeze, kind of weird-looking. And Nightwing was in it. It was pretty cool. But he has, like, I think, more modern outfit. Not from the New 52, but before that. With the blue and stuff. Pretty cool. And Oracle. You know, they had Oracle, even. That, that was cool. I'm like, oh, wow, Oracle. It went that far. That's awesome. And wheelchair and stuff. Wheelchair, that, that whole wheelchair thing, that's a pretty, like, suspenseful stuff, so. It's kind of weird they put it in a kid show, but it's still cool, though. They didn't actually show it, like, the 
Joker shooting thing. It was just a one episode thing, showing the future. I don't know why they did, but it was a very fun episode to watch. Pretty cool. Um, and then the fifth season. Oh no, let's go back to fourth. Fourth season. The cool thing about that, the very end, it has Martian Manhunter, and he introduces Batman to the Justice League, which I found that very very cool. Um, and then the fifth season is him like, like some of that episodes of the series he'll work one-on-one -on -one with not one-on-one -on -one, sometimes he'll have robin with him and batgirl but otherwise he's like going one-on-one -on -one with um like some of the team members yeah actually some i don't know what -on -one means i think it means like yeah i think i've got right the, the right term for it but oh, whatever we call it um they're working together say so that um they're working together to uh, fight crime and stuff, fighting certain villains, like the Flash. Flash was kind of cool, and he even talked fast, kind of, kind of crazy, but I did like the Flash, though. He's awesome. And they fought Mirror Master in that one. They had Hawkman, and they fought Shadow King and Black Mask, but Black Mask is a Batman villain. Black Mask. I would say Black Mask has been my favorite villains of the series. I like a lot of them in the series, but I thought that was a cool, like, different version. Like, he had orange eyes and stuff. He had a cool voice and stuff. That's, like, the episode with him where he first came. That was an awesome episode. I watched it so many times. Love it. It's like, it was like, Batman was in it, but he wasn't that, that much, really. It was more Batgirl and Robin versus um him. But it's really cool. And Batgirl and Robin are really young in it. I have a back to the Justice League. But the members are, let's see, Flash, Martian Manor, Hawkman, Superman. Superman's in it, but he's like, doesn't want to be part of the team, though. But I think it's more Batman's kind of him. I think Superman should be part of the team. Like, he wants to be part of the team. Batman doesn't. So it's kind of weird. But, yeah, they even have Watchtower in it. You know, the building, the, the um, space. Well, building, but, you know, the satellite in space. Who else is in it? Like the Flash already. Hawkman, you know, uh, Marsh Manor. Superman. Um, Green Arrow. And hey, Green Arrow is in it. He's awesome. Green Lantern. Green Lantern was awesome in it, too. Yeah, the very last episode of this, the last two episodes, were pretty awesome. He was strange. He was another way to make this show a little different. He was pretty cool. This one, he's more fat, though. <laughs> but he's still cool, though. I like it, though. Um, who else? Was that all the team members? That should have been all the team members. They should have got like, Wonder Woman or something in this in the show. But there was no girl members on Justice League. It's kind of weird. But yeah, it was really cool, though. And the funny thing was, at the very end, they did kind of mention, like, a Young Justice or Teen Titans type of thing. They said, hey, they're, like, Batgirl and Robin are like, hey, there should be, like, a young type of Justice League thing or something like that but that's pretty cool um but yeah I'm pretty much I say about the show on a scale 1 to 10 I would have to give this an 8 maybe 8 and a half it's pretty good I like the show I don't of course I don't like it as much as Avengers or Young Justice stuff like that you can't beat you can't beat those shows <laughs> these shows are really good though um they're worth watching I have to say um, yeah, it's, uh, there's some things, like, the end of Batman, Batman Season 1, that was kind of dark, especially the beginning of it, but I remember, I've been watching this since I was little, um, I even says DC Kids Collection instead of Adult Collection, it's kind of funny, um, yeah, it's on the cover, okay. Kids Collection, but, yeah, I remember the first season creeped me out when I was little, so, I don't know if it creeped out other people, but, yeah. Now it's okay, but still, back then it kind of creeped me out, so. Season 1, I don't know, you might have watched it first and then show it to somebody. Especially if they're like 5 or older. Well, not, man. Say 8 and younger, something like that. But yeah, it was pretty creepy for me. <laughs> but otherwise, Season 2 was pretty cool. Season five, 4, Robert, is pretty cool. Season 3, they're all pretty good. I just remember Season 1 was pretty dark, actually. Not too dark, and they were like, I'm primer, not like that. Not like Dark Knight Rise or Dark Knight Dark. I just mean like it was just more darker. Like they had some moments, like the villains were kind of creepy sometimes. Had the more creepier moments in the first episodes. They get a little brighter later. Like Joker didn't get as creepy later. He got like more brighter. But yeah, it's a pretty good show. I recommend it if you like Batman. This is a show you probably have to watch. I do have to say, I haven't watched much of it, but I have to say it's way better than Brave and the Bald. I did not like the show that much. This was the show, this show came, like, after the Batman animated series and before Brave and the Bald. 
yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, please be here next time for the next review. See ya.